Okay, I think this is my last take of the planet Jupiter on February 1st, 2015. We've got it pretty much sitting on the meridian right now, so that means it's about as high as it's going to get in the sky. It's maybe it's less than 10 degrees off the zenith, so it's in a really good position. We're seeing it from Los Angeles, California on the evening of February 1st right now. It's kind of 2015, just a little after midnight. And our magnification's uh, 468 power. Got some serious detail on that planet. you got a northern equatorial belt and a southern equatorial belt. The northern one's more prominent, darker brown, with hints of bluish-gray streaks on the bottom edge of it, and then the lower belt, the southern one, is less prominent, but on the far right edge of it, there's a orangish-reddish blob, which is the great red spot, which is about to wrap itself around the other side of the planet. The red spot's about the size of Earth, the biggest storm in the solar system, which is pretty cool, and then, uh, northern and southern edges of the planet, the polar area, you see some tannish, almost bits of mottling, but maybe just sort of blase tan regions, but this is Jupiter on the meridian, a week away from opposition, pretty much as high in the skies as it's going to get tonight anyway, clear as a bell in LA, which would be like this when I would run off to my favorite mountain observing site sometimes, but... At least I don't have to go very far, because I'm doing this my driveway. So Jupiter's looking pretty good. I wish that red spot was in better position. It was nice. It was in the center of the planet earlier, but it wasn't as high in the sky, and my telescope optics was less settled down than it is now. It takes a good two hours, it seems, for this telescope, 6.1-inch aperture telescope, to settle down. Did I mention the Astrophysics 155mm f7 refractor? Hope I did. That's what a refracting telescope can do. Um, so that's a wrap. Let's see. Camera settings. Panasonic GH3, 1 50th of a second shutter ISO, 1600, 40 millimeter lens on the camera, 8 focal photography, 10 millimeter eyepiece on the back end of the scope. I guess I didn't mention that before. And all that with a 2.7x bar gives you 468 power. So a pretty steady shot of Jupiter. At 468x. Not too bad. Okay, that's a wrap.